All right, guys, you know the deal. Welcome to Discover Power Sports. <clears throat> I am uh, continuing getting set up for the Red Bull Ranch Scramble. So um, I had a comment on the last video that made perfect sense, and I'm going to try it out. And I know I mentioned playing with tire pressures, and that's what I'm going to do. So um, actually, this tire <laughs> has actually gone flat. has never done that before. But um, I usually run my tire pressures in that wind is not jacking this up but i re usually run my tire pressures at like i don't know 8 10 psi maybe so i'm gonna ramp all of them up to 20 and see how it handles like that um maybe we'll make some more suspension changes i don't know but we're gonna get to it so keep watching okay guys welcome to the practice session get my gloves on getting everything tuned up ready to go gopros are GoProing. Um, just gonna rip around. Don't have a necessarily a course or anything like that that I'm gonna follow, but I uh, I just need to get used to the handling of this thing since it is different now. Uh, per a tip from a subscriber, full send side by side. Shout out to him. He told me he was citing a. Uh, a shock therapy video where they talked about tire pressures so I actually went and looked that up and all my tire pressures are at 20 right now so in my la in the last video where I was kind of jacking around you can see where the tires were folding over on themselves and because you know I only run like 8 or 10 psi so this will stop that or it should mitigate some of that so anyway we're just gonna go do some rips oh four need to be in four I'm sure that's what I'll race in, so I might as well practice in it. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it does handle way better. In four and with the tires like they are. These are some kind of off camber turns right here. This is starting to bank up a little bit, which is nice. Okay. This is where I almost flipped last time. I actually went through here with the tractor and kind of moved some dirt around. Four wheel drift. interesting how I can I can feel the little differences in the suspension changes the uh, sway bar changes the tire now the tire changes I can feel all that that's wild sucks is there's some mud up here kind of don't want to go through just wash this thing can't get the stupid visor open there we go oh yeah let's get some airflow oh yeah that's nice 
uber nice. I want to get back here to this back area. There's some ripping right here. Dang it, got mud on it. Oh well, that's what it's for. Oh, sorry goats. Brakes. Whoa! Holy crap! Did I just lose a tire or something? Or was that just from the grass? <laughs> Let's go walk around and check. I mean, that was like being on ice. Holy cow, that just must have been how slippery the, the grass is. Oh my gosh. That's literally, I just slid around right here. Dang. <laughs> hey, green grass, super slick. Be careful, got it. All right, it's Saturday out here. And the weather is amazing. We got a ton of rain yesterday morning. <clears throat> So, it's going to be muddy, probably. Sorry. Helmet on my It's definitely going to be muddy. Not probably. It's going to be muddy. But, can't let that deter us. So, Steven's out here. We're going to get a little bit of practice time in. And, uh, he'll get some good shots of me from the outside, ripping around. Other than that, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just going to keep ripping. It's pretty muddy. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh oh. Yeah, it's super muddy. Which it could be muddy there. So who knows? I did try to come fix some of this because right here gets a really, a really deep groove in the road sometimes, and it had it. So I didn't want to. I don't want it to catch, you know. to wash this thing too. <laughs> oh, that GoPro is smoked! Oh! That's what I was afraid of. Oh! Threw me off, way off track. Jeez!
He smoked. I wonder where Steven is. Alright, Bryce is practicing some rips in anticipation of the Red Bull race on April 1st here in Decatur at Oak Hill Motocross Park is really what it's known for, but they got a UTV park, which is pretty sweet. So getting some good uh, test in, trying to get the machine dialed in. Making a mess out here. So getting it dialed in, testing the suspension because he's made some tweaks to it, lowered it, played the spring some. So getting some video of it coming through the turns, looking at the body roll. So have a little fun doing that. I know he's looking in his rear view, but I still want to try to pass him. His clutch kit's working great now. Out of the way, dog. I'm coming through here. Out of the way. Out of the way. Good girl. Come on. 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 Freaking Bryce over here racing the ghost machine. Gran Turismo freaking ghost machine. Got sprayed a little bit. Sprayed, Machine's a little dirty. A little soupy here in Texas. We've been getting some showers. So some showers? Okay, some freaking turd floaters, yeah, man. Yeah, we got demolished yesterday. Yeah. A little over one inches, one one point two one or something like that over around here. It's a pretty good amount of freaking rain. Yeah, but it was in like a half an hour. Yeah, it was really quick. So, supposed to have it again next week before the Red Bull race. So, we'll see. Got both units out here, but Bryce is getting his dialed in. That'll just be the part unit, but the only thing they can use, I guess, are technically belts. So, <laughs> I wonder if you can swap tires. I don't know. Surely. Surely so. Let's look at the forecast for Decatur, Texas. Get the old power washer up. Thursday, 60% chance of rain. Friday, 70% chance of rain. So it's going to be a mud bath, probably. It rains both days. <laughs> Dude, you're doing the training right now, man. It's cool. I know. We'll probably just keep it up. Go burn this tank of fuel up. Yeah, do some ripping. And then go wash it. Yeah, wash it, and then do the final tweaking throughout this week. Just got to put some safety gear on. Yeah. Fire extinguishers, uh, secondary door latches. What are oh, harnesses. Harnesses, yeah. They don't, you have to have a five point. These aren't five point, and they're retractable, but I got one that'll just go into place, and then I'll sw saw it back to these. Got to take the windshield off yeah. because of this. That ain't just don't want to get broken. Yep. And then pull the little visor off yeah. put the, and disconnect the lights, tuck the harness underneath there, and do some last minute adjustments. And then she'll be ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Get the, the right angle impact and the, the belt tool and yeah. be set to. But the belt feels so good right now. Like, of course, you know. Yeah. They just blow sometimes. Yeah, it, it'll be fine. I guess we can take a peek at it and blow everything out again. What was that risk the other day and today? Yeah. Well, everything looked good because you had it broke down, so. That's true. Anyways, we'll put in some more freaking hot laps. Yeah. All right. Back in action. We got, it says half a tank of fuel. I'm not sure I believe that because I want to say there's probably only like three gallons in that can anyway.
It's like when I was coming down Black Bear Pass in the OG Terex. Yeah. <laughs> Would not just slowly start moving through the brakes on an incline. Yeah. Did a few laps in. 205. One bar of fuel left. <laughs> At least put three gallons in. I know, but still. Yeah, I mean, wide open taps. That's great. Yeah. We'll let yeah. everything cool down. And... It settled a little bit too, though. Yeah. Kind of like it did when we just filled it up. Let everything cool down, and then I'll run it backwards a couple times. Just to be something different. Yeah. Everything else holding up good, though. Sway bar reconnected. Everything's nice and tight. This... Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, probably need to snug those back up before you go. Probably hit the sway bar with some torque again, but yeah. other than that. Oh, yeah, I guess we should probably put that freaking other piece on there too, huh? Yeah. That too. Spacer on there. <laughs> Interesting texture. Yeah, it is. It's like someone spayed spray freaking concrete on it. <laughs> like the crap they use plaster and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, put your hand in there. <laughs> yeah. Feel the heat coming out of those holes. Yeah, she's cooking. Yeah. She's cooking. Feel how hot these get? Oh, it's I freaking. guess it could be from the radiator, but just put your hand right there like that is freaking hot. Yeah. The axle. Yeah. I'm sure the radiator's dumping all that hot air on it. Diff's doing work. Like there's almost like air pressure inside that thing. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Holy crap. No joke. Dang, the wheel scraper's playing on the wheels looking rough. There's a crew where the wheel scraper is. Yeah, no holes through it yet. <laughs> Dang, you can just see how much lower it is. <laughs> how horizontal those freaking old so those radius rods are compared to compared to me. Freaking professional race car driver over there. He loved up. Go 
freaking drive a limo 